Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the channel of the Shotgun Shogun and this is another episode of the Shogun It Versus. Now I know I haven't done these in a little while, but we are up today against nine, nine ever, nine ever. And we are, we're ahead by a decent amount. We've got enough uh, attacks. We're pretty good. They did crack into our stronghold, but we'll see if they're able to bring that down. We do have one hit here on this strong stronghold we got like one hit on this stronghold and then we can get into the main stronghold tower or stronghold whatever somebody's gonna be like yo strogon that's the fortress not the stronghold so we're gonna take these out we're gonna get ourselves into the stronghold and then we're gonna attack that we only need one win here but we're gonna take both of them because well i need them points boys so we're gonna go in on this the first round is an rb or ravi and a falconer query now this is most likely a uh counter ravi probably on like anchor or seed or something along those lines so we're gonna bring our ml haste um we're going to bring uh who do we bring here you know what we're gonna bring we're gonna keep our own ravi here um and we are going to go with the do we bring lilius to this one um we could bring lilius to this one i think lilius would be perfectly fine on this one that'll give us the increased attack here um this will allow us to cleanse off the falconer query whatever um and then we'll show this ravi who the best ravi Ravi is out of the two of them. Um, so the second team, ML Crow, Crow, and Spectre Tenebria right up there in the front. So we are going to need a little bit of AoE here. Uh, but at the same time, we are going to want to be able to control and take down the ML Crow. So uh, what do we do here? So we do need to be able to control the ML Crow. We do need to be able to control the regular Crow while also doing AOE to the Spectre Tenebria. So we are going to bring the Crescent Moon Wren in with us. That's gonna be our control unit. And then for our, our overall tank, we're gonna bring Fallen Cecilia. This is gonna allow us to potentially bypass like a horse of some sort. Um, now they are going to ha end up having um, debuff immunity but we don't care we just need to kill the specter tenebria with the ssb and control the two of them with the amount of cycling that our ml rin will be able to do we'll also have the shields from fcc uh we should be good here we're gonna make sure that we lock that ml crowd down first so let's get into this let's get this over and done with It's a pretty fa uh, pretty fast Falconer query. It's going to go in on our ML Haste here. We don't get the defense break. We get the gab on this. Not really that big of a deal. So we are going to hit that. We get the stun. Nice big, big damage here. We're going to do this so that even... Okay, so we didn't kill. I was kind of hoping that we would kill there. That's perfectly fine because we're going to S3 the, the RB. We'll get the heal to heal back up our Lilias. RB's going to come back up. We got the extra thick boy shield. Perfectly fine. Even through Gab, we are good. The Lilius did take a little bit of damage there. Um, we're going to hit this so that we can potentially stun. We stun the Falconer Cory. Good stuff. Our Willis is going to be in a little bit of a trouble here. No greater attack, no greater basket there. So we are going to kill the Falconer Quarry here. This is going to kill the Falconer Quarry. This is also going to heal. It's not going to fill, kill the Falconer Quarry, but well, it doesn't matter because this will. We did get the heal, which is important. Uh, this is actually going to kill both the... Uh, it doesn't kill the Arby. Okay, so we are going to... The Ravi won't have S3 available at that level, so we are going to kill the Arby here. This all... Uh, never mind, I'm completely wrong. Should have just went into the Ravi. But we'll see if it can actually stun anything. Uh, it does stun our haste, but that's fine. So we're going to show this Ravi who the best Ravi is, and then we will just double up. Thank you for the stun, by the way, because that is just a double into Ravi. Showing them who the real Ravi 
is right here. Okay, so we are faster than this guy. Uh, so we are going to S3 here. This will give us the defense break. Uh, not the defense break, the debuff immunity. So we're going to have our debuff immunity here. We are going to get an R and L, by the way. We are going to stun. Nice little bonk. Uh, we will S1 here. No additional R and L, unfortunately. Um, I do want to make sure that I can protect my ML Rin from any potential damage. So we are going to S3 here just to get the shield up. Because if we lose the ML, if we lose the ML Rin, we're in just a little bit of trouble. Uh, but shouldn't be able to S10 through the shield. It doesn't matter anyway, she goes for SSB. Phenomenal. Okay, so nobody has debuff immunity here, um, and we're about to dumpster this S10. Yo, that's a thick S10, but that's okay, because we're going to just steal this, and uh, we didn't steal it, but we did bonk it, so that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, we do need to... Is the crowd we're gonna just we're gonna hit this and hope that this crow is not is horse range does it horse the the ssb it does horse the ssb uh but it doesn't do anything perfect this is this is playing out perfectly fine here uh we are gonna get the double up here uh, it does a little bit of damage but not enough damage now uh we're going to get rid of this now we will potentially get Crow, uh, uh, ML Crow Horse here. Shall we bring this to a close? Yeah, we are. Let's see. Is still first turn one. Uh, he's not gonna have that. We are gonna kill the S10 here though. We can hit this Crow. He's provoked. We get the big shield here. They're just completely ignoring my ML Rin, which is good. The blue crow already has the horse down, so we're just going to focus down this ML crow. We're just going to keep on doing our thing here. We are actually going to steal his speed and bonk him because, well, we want speed. Who doesn't want speed? Uh, I'm gonna burn just so I can get some extra buffs here. See what we all get. Oh, we got uh, we got some evasion. Let's uh, provoke this because the other one's stunned. We don't provoke it, but that's fine too. This is going to probably kill the ML crowd here. And we're going to send this one off in style with the Rin S3. Now, the reason why I'm also doing this is because potentially we get rid of the... Okay, we would have gotten the extra turn. And if it would have been Holy Sacrifice, we would have been able to do some extra damage. Or we would have been able to stun the Blue Crow. So, uh, please hope that nobody else was attacking that. Okay, they were attacking that down there. Sometimes, sometimes my guild's a little on the Papega side. We do, uh, we're gonna go in here against Thiever. Okay, so, uh, Paychex took a double loss on this first one. Um, we're going to, so the Basar is going to be a little bit of a pain, but I think what we do is we bring the ML Tywin so that the Basar unbuffable goes away. We bring ML Haste, um, and then we bring a damage dealer. Pretty easy. So we will just replace, actually we'll just replace our Lilius with the ML Tywin. Shouldn't be too much of a problem here. We should be able to take the damage. Um, we do have the mitigation with the ML Haste here. Shouldn't be a problem. Now the second team, we're gonna have to deal with the Charles. Um, so actually what I think we're gonna do here is I think we will bring Flitica. We'll bring Cerise. And we will bring Silver Blade Araminth. And I'm going to try to control this second team. Um, the reason why is because 
Do I just want to run a control team on this second team? Um, actually, you know what we could use instead of the... Well, no, because you know what? Actually, no, we should be fine. Here, we're going to bring... We're going to bring Elfelt. Actually. Do we bring Elfelt instead of... Yeah, you know, we bring Cerise because we need to strip, make sure that even if we don't get the strips on the FCC, because we're not going to get that strips on FCC, right? Um, we need to be able to strip and or stun before. Yeah, we're going to bring we're going to bring SBA. We're going to bring SBA because then we can just dumpster everything. And then we can cycle back around. Control team, I only need one win on this one anyways. So we're going to have fun on the second team. Okay, fast start. That's fine. Unless everybody gets Abyssal Crown. No Abyssal Crowns. Okay, we do get the Greater Basket here. That's going to lay out a lot of damage. Um, we are going to... That is still a bit of a damage. Okay. Didn't do much, uh, much enough there. That's fine, though. Okay, so I am going to rip my S3 here and get some stuns, hopefully. We do hit the... Uh... Okay, so they're slowed. We're going to S3 here into the Arby. This should be enough to finish this off. It's not, but we do get the heals. That is going to... Okay, so what we do here is we just finish off this Arby. We get our shield. Perf. Even with the greater attack, we should be fine. We did take a little bit of damage there, but we have debuff immunity, so that was wasted right there. Uh, we have S3, so this is where I pretty much kill all of them. Uh, if not, just stun them, send them back. Okay, we got the triple stun. Um, I do need some heals here, so I am going to finish off the Arby. We're fully healed back up. We're going to kill this Basar. Ravi is the actual real control unit, uh, so yeah. We'll finish off the Basar. We will provoke. We'll S3 again. As you can see, if you pull a Ravi in on the dual attacks, uh, she's able to S3 pretty much nonstop. And you're stunned, you're pushed back. Uh, we'll just cycle in here, make sure you get the speed down, extra stuns, just for more flash, more flash. That's really what it is at the end of the day, just being a little more flashy. Now look, another stun. Imagine not using Ravi in your control comp in 2020. All right, second team. This is the this is the con, the fun control comp right here. Okay, so uh, we do have a lot here. So this is going to be fine because even if Charles counters, uh, even if Charles does Charles stuff here, we should be fine. Okay, so we didn't get the Charles, unfortunately. Um, so we will do this. Not going to break the Charles shield. That sucks. Um, we are going to... We're going to drop this on everybody else. Charles, just doing Charles things. But you know what? The thing is, is uh, even, even with this, let's just reset this FCC. Charles is going to S3 here. And we are going to end up being able to um, skill nullifier through it. His Eldritch Ritual Sword is just not working right now. And we should be able to stun him with the... Uh, so we are going to stun this FCC. This will help, help us cycle a little bit more as well. Um, we're going to... We got burns here, so we're going to burn. 
cycle. We get a burn on the Charles, but we didn't really get much in the way of stuns. This is a counter attack K run. You love to see it. Um, I'm going to try to blind Charles. Okay, so we did get the blind there. That's good. I will not just stand by and watch. Um, I am going to just try to hit this K run again. No counter attack. Good. He is going to go in. He's going to miss Perf. Uh, I am going to burn this so that I can get a burn on this K run here. Uh, counter attack. Uh, that was a lot of damage. Hopefully he's not Dust Devil. Okay. Um, I am going to try to blind the Charles yet again. Okay, we got the blind and we got the defense break. Uh, I'm going to S3 so that even if the K-Ron does opt to counterattack here, doesn't matter. Everybody is in a pretty tough spot. Um, we are going to... I need to stun this. If I don't, I hope that, no, if I don't stun this FCC, she kills my, okay. This is fine though. At this point, we just control with the Athletica and the, and the Cerise. So we will try to proc the immortality here. It does. Okay, sweet. So he's going to die in a second. Um, I am going to poke away at this Charles. I am going to poke away at this Charles. I am going to S3 this yet again. And just for good measure. We should cycle back around in order to take care of them. I just wanted to make sure that... Oh, okay, cool. No S2. Good. So this should kill a couple of them. He says. Oh, holy sacrifice. Are you kidding me? Sweet. Okay. Arkan does not submit to threats. All right, I need to. I need to kill this. Or stun. Protect my people. Wait, how did he heal? Oh, because of holy sacrifice. Oh crap. All right, all right, all right. We attack this. It's dead. Don't counterattack. Okay. This shouldn't kill me here. Okay, I'm faster than the k -Ron. We just S3 for immortality. He no longer has a shield, so after he does what... It, oh, he's dead. Oh, no, I kind of want Charles to... Oh, come, please stun. Oh, we stunned. Okay, okay, okay. This Charles doesn't seem to be counter. I think he kills me here. Yeah, he kills me here. Okay. Well, that's why we don't run counter teams in, in Guild Wars. But we still got the we still got the tower down. This person's probably gonna be like, yo, he he entered to me. He got a draw on the second one. I'm glad that I have Ross running simulator here right now. Hey, anytime now. And anytime now. At least I got the draw, right? We'll be back when when Ross decides that he wants to reconnect to the game. Okay, so Ross decided to finish running and we are back and we're gonna be hitting the stronghold. Uh, now, the reason why we are hitting the stronghold here is because Ross is back and Ross is running is because this person specifically called me out on Discord, said that I wouldn't attack them and we're looking forward to watching 
me get get wrecked on their defense so with that said of course we are going to pick up that challenge now as you can remember we did lose our control team because well uh, who runs control in guild wars uh, but regardless first team uh, we got a k-ron we got an ssb um uh, me chloe Okay, uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to end up going in here. We'll go in with a Rowana. We'll go in with, um, uh, you know what? Actually, we're going to go in with our top model, Luluka. Uh, do we go in with top model, Luluka? We can just ML Haste. We can just ML Haste and then a Bruiser. That's gonna just that'll just go up against the up against the SSB. Um, that'll be perfectly fine. So, like, what bruiser do I want to go in here with? Um, you know what? Actually, actually, we'll just bring ML Crow. Uh, this will be uh, that'll be easy. Everybody's extra thick. We're gonna have Rowana. We're gonna have ML Haste. Uh, so, if anything decides it wants to come back, we should be perfectly fine. All three of these are. It's extra thick extra thick we got heals in mitigation uh we're good on that team second team is where we uh, will bring actually do we bring uh, ml haze to the second team do we bring top model lulica to the first team i actually don't think that i need to deal with the revive because one ml haze down here so we have rwanda we have ML Crow. Who else do we bring to this one? I don't think I I don't think I even really need to worry about. You know what? We'll bring We'll bring Dizzy. We'll bring Dizzy because Dizzy will disable the uh K-Ron We'll be able to trigger the SSB, which will cool down the ML Crow. Uh, we have Rowana. We'll be per we'll be fine up there. Uh, bottom team will ML Haste. We will fire Rabby, and we will FCC. Uh, yeah, yeah. This this team will be perfectly fine down here. Uh, not a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. We'll see if it's a problem. I don't think it'll be a problem. So let's go in on these two. Uh, should be pretty, pretty straightforward. We'll see. This guy's very confident in his defense. Okay. There's no way that this is going to one shot my Rowana. Okay, right. easy. Let's have some fun. We roll through with the crowd. We're going to get ourselves um, a debuff immunity here. Okay. We get this. Perfectly fine. Uh, let's just whack away a little bit here at this. Uh, we're going to wait until after the SSB decides that she wants to get rid of this debuff immunity. We're perfectly fine. We'll get a little bit of heal here. Actually, it's, that puts us right back up to where we needed to be. Okay, that doesn't really do too much. Uh, the greater basket kind of sucks here, but does not finish us off. This is going to push us back forward. All right, sweet. Gives us that little bit of heal. Um, we're going to slap away at this K-Ron. We do get the... May the light. Immortality proc. You from we will heal. We have revive. We're gonna slap them with the S3 here. Why don't you just Burn. Roll through. This is going to do some damage not only that but this will trigger the ssb with miss and it's going to heal and push us forward as well as give us a shield this means that the k-ron is going to be doing pretty much nothing to this uh to this rowana 
Uh, we'll just poke him, just get rid of him. All right, he's dead. We are going to do this to push these two back. I'll show you how I do things. We'll just go in on this maid because even if she does bring the the Kron back, it, it really doesn't matter at this point because we will just kill it again. Uh, because look, I mean, we're just getting we're already at three stacks. We'll just bop that. Counterattack. This is going to just heal and push us forward yet again. Uh, I do believe that my crow is already almost cooled down. Uh, no, he does need two more. Uh, we will just get rid of the SSB here. Uh, this way again, like if, if they do come back, uh, we should be in a good spot to just immediately kill them again. You just surrender. Because she's gonna bring them back and then we just crow cycle them to him. Step back. I will I'll just hit this real quick. Actually I should hit the I should hit the maid, but I think that we just I mean we kill both of them here. Maid revives. We'll just S3. We just got to deal with the maid now at this point. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. She's going to be slowed. Sure, she's going to heal herself a little bit, but not really a big deal because we're going to lap around. We're going to push back. Nope, resisted. That's fine because we're going to do some damage here and she's dead quite the maid a little bit of a pain but uh, really played against themselves all right we're into the next one um am i worried about the uh, S3 from their side. I'm not particularly too worried about it. Um, this is a bastion of Petrulia, uh, probably. Um, I'll just hit this. Okay, we did get the counter, so uh, counter attack. That's fine. Uh, it'll do a little bit of damage to the FCC, but not enough to really matter. Plus, she got her own shield after the fact. This is going to push my Ravi forward. Um, we will get rid of this. Um, I don't think at this point I really need to S3, so I'm not going to worry about it. We will get rid of the debuff immunity. No greater attack basket there or anything like that, so not really a big deal. This will push me forward real fast. One thing I want to do here is I do want to try to... Okay, we didn't stun the um, the Charles. That was kind of what I was trying to go for there. Okay, Charles is going to do Charles things. Okay, that's perfectly fine. We're going to go first. We will try to... We'll S3 here into the RB. Even if it doesn't kill him, I do want to get... Oh, okay, we missed through Dream Blade. That sucks. Uh, but I do kind of want to get, oh, I wanted to get some of that HP back. Dream Blade, of course, hitting yet again. Miss, counterattack, okay. Okay. FCC not in a good spot right now, but, uh, that's fine-ish. Oh, man. Come on, Charles. Okay, okay. Uh, now we gotta kill this right here. We don't. We're not going to do enough damage here to kill either. Oh, that's going to kill my FCC. That's a little rough. Uh, but this is going to push. Whoo, lad, that is a lot. Okay, so we're going to kill him here. We're not going to kill him here. Dream Blade. Non stop. Kills my. 
ML haste. Oh, this is gonna kill my Ravi. Rip, rip, Dream Blade. Well, we got one. Uh, definitely, definitely, Dream Blade nonstop. So twenty percent, mul multiple times. Uh, so we did get a draw there. Uh, but hey, you know it is what it is. R and Jesus. Uh, that Charles was popping off pretty hard, and uh, Dream Blade, Dream Blade, Dream Blade. Uh, anyways, though, we did get the other two towers down. We're definitely winning this one. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, if you guys did like this content, as always, make sure you like, fave, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy, homies. Peace. Thank you.